Okay, everyone, places, it's time to begin. Quiet on the set. And cue commercial. <laughs> Brought to you by religions all over the world. May the candles we light this holiday season remind us of the growing love within the heart. May the candles we sing uplift our spirits and renew our hope and vision. May the special moments we spend with family and friends strengthen the bonds of caring between us at this time and throughout the coming year. As Unitarian Universalists, Advent asks, what are we waiting for and preparing for in our own lives and in the life of our world? In this season of long nights, Advent invites us to explore the themes of hope, peace, joy, and love. On this third season of Advent, we light a candle for joy. As Universalists, Eunice Wade Paul wrote, I do not ask for this faith because I shrink from pain, the great depth of nature, but I ask for it that I may have respect for myself that I may feel life is worth living, that good is worth living for above and beyond its mere return of birth. And above all else, I ask for that faith because it makes life grand and gives us sublime possibilities, and further, it gives a substance of joy and bliss, which nothing earthly ever gave and which nothing on earth can take away. How are you embracing joy in each day? May the light of this candle help us bring more joy to the world. audience, please read the italicized words on the screen above. The Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through Him. And without Him was not anything made that was made. In Him was life. And the life was the light of all humanity. And the Word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. Let us ring the bells of Christmas. Anyone who has uh, bells near you?
are you a skeptic? Do you have doubts about angels? Confused about the Holy Spirit? Unsure what to believe? Come to your local Unitarian Universalist congregation for a different perspective. Have you ever had the experience of wind blowing and flapping your hair and your clothes? Well, the word spirit actually means breath. So think of spirit as that wind or breath of God or mystery. You can't see it, you can't touch it, but you sure can feel it. You can see how it acts like when it makes the tops of the trees dance or when leaves skip and move across the grass, or when it takes the top of waves and spews water into your face. Spirit is like our breath. We can't see it, but we can feel it on our hands, and in our lungs, and in our hearts. It gives us life. And Angel, what do you have to say for your thoughts? You mean if I really don't? Well, if you think of those little corners of your chairs, I'm kind of with you there. But here's the thing someone else told me. Angels are those people who show up in our lives when we are in need of something. We may know them or not. We may never see them again, but they come when we need them. Mary needed help to understand what was happening to her. Joseph needed help to understand what was happening to him and Mary. Angels are those who help us. All my little angel helpers are invited to come up and join me down there while the audience sings us back for the commercial break. Please rise and body your spirit and join us in safety. Angels, please join our nativity scene down front. You are listening to UU Radio. We now return for Act 2 of Jesus' birth. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. In those days, a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. All went from their own town to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged, and who was expecting a child. And while they were there, the time came for her to be delivered. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swelling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no place for them in the end. Suddenly, there was with the angel 
a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heavens, and on earth, peace among those whom he favors. Uh, wait a minute. We, uh, we interrupt this broadcast for a special confusion alert. You said you believed Jesus was a man, so how can he be a savior? How can you call a baby a savior and a lord? Aren't all babies the same when they are born? They're naked and messy and whiny. <laughs> what makes this baby so special? Yes, they are the same. I believe that all babies are special, and any birth is a miracle. Life itself is miraculous, and even with all of our science, we still cannot understand all that it holds. Remember the responsive reading at the beginning of service? Well, that was from the book of John. He's the master of the metaphor. John doesn't even talk about Jesus' birth, but talks about the world being made flesh. He's, he's talking about Jesus being the Son of God, but nowhere does he say he is God the Son. Some of you use believe that God exists in all of us, which I guess could mean we are all sons and daughters of God. But none of us is God. <laughs> in Luke's version of the story. Luke has the angels and the Holy Spirit visiting Mary, but Matthew is focused on making the story of Jesus' birth fit the Old Testament prophecies of the coming of a Messiah. He uses dreams to tell the story. In the early chapters of Matthew, Joseph is always having a dream. Dreams tell stories too, stories of what is deep in our thoughts. But everyone knows dreams aren't real. They mean something to us, but the events are often symbolic. So too is the offering we bring each week. It is both a symbolic and a tangible representation of the gifts we all bring to this congregation. Each person giving a little, putting our money together to do good in the world. This morning's offering will now be received.
Our formal worship service has ended. Carrie, what is meaningful in your heart until we meet again? broadcast and thank you to our wonderful studio audience we are now off the air